Hello everyone, this is Randy. Here in this video, I am going to teach you how to start a travel agency with your capital. First, is you need to design the type and location of your travel agency. So there are three choices, either home base, A, office base, B, online and walk-in, C, both home base and office base. So me as a travel agent, I use both home base and office base, but I use uh, office base with a virtual office. I will create a separate video with that about what is a virtual office. So it is a big help for those travel agents uh, who wants to have an office uh, with a minimum monthly rental. So I use a virtual office located in global city. Second, you need to do is you need to have equipments in starting a travel agency. Basic equipments are laptop, smartphones, tablets, or anything necessary for communication and operation. Second, printer, scanner, chairs, tables, etc. Third, good internet connection and mobile data. If uh, if you don't have internet connection, so you can have a mobile data, but be sure you have a good connection or signal. Third is, you need to decide that what is the name of your travel agency. Upon registration, DTI will require you five names. So, to avoid uh, same name, so you have a reserve five names. So, DTI will just decide. You can register online or visit to the office. If you're a corporation, you can visit or register online also or visit directly to the office. So, that's the third. The fourth is you need to process your permits. So, after registration in DTI, with DTI, bring that uh, permits to Barangay office and they will give you a barangay permit then after that bring that to the mayor or the city hall then after that the, they will release to you the mayor's permit and uh, i can also give you a separate video on uh, the sample of the charges that they charge me in getting that permits Okay, the three are enough to start. So later, you can also get accreditation, accreditation with DOT, Department of Tourism. But not necessarily, because if you are just a small travel agent and you want to process legally and operate legally, then not necessarily you'll be accredited with DOT. And if you have that much capital or substantial capital and you want to be a IATA membership, so be it. But if you are uh, just a small timer, you can use Via Philippines. I used Via Philippines for about 10 years now and they are IATA member. So you can use their system, ticketing system. So I, I will also teach you on my separate video on how to use it. Okay, so this is the necessary uh, things that you need to get. Uh, because uh, without these permits and partners, you cannot operate your travel agency. So, not only that, you can also, uh, you need also to process your OR with the BIR okay then the BIR required you to have TIN then uh, the TIN uh, 
will be uh, input on your certificate of registration with your name as a taxpayer then process your official receipt by furnishing all requirements so like format authority to print etc then now after all furnishing uh, everything you need uh, to furnish like uh, those location names and registration permits and start to advertise your travel agency so build a website or a social media account like facebook so one of the uh, one of the his i mean the history of my travel agency it was started when way back 2011 when olx or sulit.com uh, was uh, very uh, um, they 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 boom they they are the the one who who who, who are um, always uh, used by the travel agency or travel agents and they put classified uh, ads there online and travel agency was. Um, you know a lot of clients um, inquiring because that is the media or social media that, that was used when Facebook was not yet offering pages or groups or something like that so nowadays you can use Facebook as the platform of your advertising so I use Facebook with uh, around 11,000 300 likes so I can also uh, help you how to uh, promote your Facebook page in my separate videos so you can use uh, also website but not necessarily if you want Facebook and focus on it then so be it but if you want uh, both then that's good if you have time or or, or amount or money to 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 supply on uh, website making so be it so you can print uh, flyers magazines newspapers or anything or personal share it to friends so just uh, use the natural way of uh, advertising okay after after all the advertising uh, you need to have a background what is the purpose why you advertise so these are just mm -hmm. the purpose, mm -hmm. purposes of it and you can read it by yourself okay then after advertising and the the, the clients uh, will start to inquire and ask questions either by email chatting or either Skype or via phone calls or text messages or or even the website some somebody will ask you questions and inquire about your products your tour packages so or in in response to those uh, people that you have given flyers people will ask questions then uh, you will start now to send a quotation and proposal so first you need to get is the price of the airfare so you need to get their day to travel how many are they then after that check the airline or even the, the system that I am uh, I recommend the via Philippines if you have that already you can check the airline how much will be the airfare and after that check the hotel rates so if you have yet the tariff rates you can uh, directly visit web the website of the hotel and get the room rate and uh, the tour so I can give you a discounted tariff rate of the tour nationwide so I have uh, contacts nationwide 
Hello everyone, this is Things to Know. Here in this video, I'm going to teach you how to post a product in your Lazada store. First, you need to visit sellercenter.lazada.com.ph. So, example, you have already here in this uh, site. So, me, uh, my store is uh, four. So, I can uh, choose one. Example, I'll post a product in my essential oil and wheels. Okay, so it's already in, uh, in, in the login. So, I'll just click sign in. You already signed. Sign in a visit or click the product area. Then add products. Then once you have it, uh, just put product name in product name sample. My product name is Deep Relief. Shall roll on. So take note. Uh, there's a tip here. The name of your product recommend uh, to have 20 to 40 words with unique selling points so that your products will appear in search results six times higher. and so on and so forth like this so express and roll on okay so once you have clicked the category just visit the product attributes so you just notice that the score content has already increased so make sure that the end of this your content must be uh, the score content must be 100 so let's uh, put the product brand so the product brand is the young living okay then after that uh, 10 ml so I just make sure that you're you know ready the the volume so model is 2020 package type single item travel so it depends on your product you're going to sell so the information varies depending on the product you want to sell so you need to input a short description so there are two description here uh, short description and the long description so there are tips also here product Product attributes are important for uh, customer when choosing products. Then, uh, okay, so that's the uh, tips of the attributes. Now we'll go to the short description. Okay, so just research it to um, Google. Okay, so I, I found here the link. So just copy and paste the product. Okay. Then once you copy paste it here, then also the long description. So I suggest you will use this glory kit. Okay, this is a good one. Then uh, click that and just click the image and make sure that you will uh, choose this part or you can choose the other one if you want to but I suggest that this is the very easy way and very fast okay then so click again then you can see the 
choices upload new duplicate delete okay so we'll just upload new picture now I um, I just uh, make ready of the picture that I want to put it on so you can see here like this you can move it like that okay so make sure you you prepare the the pictures then this uh, tool, toolkit will suggest to you so that you can have a good score of your content to put a text so you can add text so I, I usually delete this one and adjust okay okay look at uh, this one you can uh, maximize the space and uh, you can uh, continue the description here okay then you can uh, get the space like that and uh, the application you can uh, edit this uh, application then uh, you can uh, search again the how to use or the ingredients something like that okay so you can uh, continue to okay add words here okay so as you notice uh, you can move this one like that like that and adjust this uh, 60 so or 40 or 30 so you can notice the space was uh, the space uh, are adjusted to okay so you can make it uh, also center like that or this one it's up to you what do you want uh, what kind of uh, design okay so already put the picture and put um, text description then you can save it okay so here here we go now so we'll go to the next box so you notice that the score is already 75 so what's in the box you can uh, put the uh, 10 ml uh, essential oh wait wait deep relief roll on okay 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 then after that you can make uh, what is in the Permit okay, so you can make something like this uh, the scent. Um, you can put or oh, you can copy paste something like that. If you really pull on essential oil, okay, then upload uh, a picture. So there's a two choices here upload or media center. So the media center is used for storing a bit uh, pictures so next for the uh, for the next upload you already have a lot of pictures here like that so you can choose uh, from your media pictures what do you want to upload okay so me sometimes I use uh, this one okay then after that, this one. Okay. This one also. Okay. Okay, so you can choose uh, what will be your main image like this. Yeah, so just move it. Okay, so 
here is the SKU okay the SKU so you need to put on the price so I usually make it like this so the retail is 2000 uh, 2080 then sometimes I make a special price like 1880 like that then the date then uh, I choose to put uh, three months something like that then select then uh, the promotional date is from September to December okay so how many product I have one then you can leave it blank or you can put something uh, the title it like that so you can now uh, put this title and okay then the weight um less than uh you know um, the weight is less than a kilo or something like that then the the centimeter of it is uh, five five then uh, 15 the height okay so you can uh, check all uh, things example if the product you have is uh, there's a battery in it so you can uh, check this one or a liquid something like that then after that uh, ready to go just review it then you can check if the score will be 100 okay so let's see published so it was already published successfully okay so let's check in our store if what will be the content score of that kind of oh so here comes our result the content score of the product that we just um, posted or added in our store is 100 so that is a good one right there so let's check let's check if okay as you can see here deep relief essential roll on young living so you can see the okay let's see here check check okay so here comes the information like this okay so it's already posted in our um, store so and uh, you can uh, check this product it's a good product also so if you want to buy it just visit our store at Lazada just find uh, essential oil and wellness we are just a new seller here in Lazada and we are trying to help also a new seller to how to post a product in Lazada seller center thanks for watching and in our previous or next videos you can learn a lot of things about Lazada Seller Center. Thank you for watching. Okay, hello everyone. I will show you how to change your name and change your profile picture using your browser or using your laptop. First, you might you need to visit uh, or go to a browser like Google Chrome or Firefox. Type zoom.us. Sign in. Then uh, sign in with Google. Okay. Then use your uh, email address. The one that you have an account of Zoom. I will use this one.
Okay. Once you have it, you go to profile picture. And now you can change your profile picture and customize it. Once you have it, uh, click save, then you can uh, edit your name according to the format uh, of ABPI. So it must be the family name first, then my name, then I am uh, Titus, then slash attach. my church acronym a people voice name of this church then dash okay then save save changes okay so that's it so if you want to join using your laptop just click this join a meeting then uh, you need to have a meeting ID meeting ID once you have a meeting ID, just type it there. Example A is this one. Meeting ID is uh, the one that is posted in the in the group chat. Uh, sorry for the delay. Okay, this one. This is the meeting ID, the one that I'm using right now. Eight one nine six one. 897942 and so just type it here then after that if uh, it will require password then uh, just type the password okay so, and yeah, then join okay so that's it then just uh, proceed and yeah, proceed open zoom okay that's it thank you to know uh, ituro ko sa inyo ngayon kung paano pa-increasein ang watch hours sa YouTube tingnan natin kung paano unti-unting uh, tumaas ang uh, watch hours uh, sa pamagitan ng sistema na ituro ko sa inyo so simulan natin yung May 3 so ito ay channel ko at makikita natin yung growth ng uh, watch hours so ang ating goal na itong 4,000 public watch hours ay makukuha so ituro ko sa inyo kung paano matulungan uh, ang pag increase na yan sa sistema na uh, ginamit ko itong 189 nagsimula ko nung May 3. So, makita mo. Uh, mababa pa nung May 3. So, ilang days later, May 15. Tingnan natin kung ano ang naging resulta. Naging 311 watch hours. Okay. So, uh, ilang days later lang ay umincrease na siya then ito sa May 22 uh, 2 weeks later <coughs> nag increase siya ng <coughs> 445 okay then pagdating naman sa May 26 nag increase na naman siya ng <coughs> 572 Pagdating naman sa June 1 
nag-increase na naman siya ng 783. Okay, pagdating naman ng June 5, so one month. Nag-increase siya ng 888. Pagdating naman ng June 11, kahapon. Nag-increase siya until 1,034. So, kulang na lang ako ng 3,000 para maabot yung 4,000 na requirement ng YouTube public uh, watch hours. So, yun yung goal natin na maabot para ma-monetize yung ating YouTube channel para makapagsimula na kumita ng uh, income at uh, maging passive income na rin para sa bawat vlogger. So, ngayon, paano yan nagawa? At paano na ito, natulungan yan aside from mga tao na sinisharean mo na mag-watch sa iyong uh, video ay tumutulong ka rin sa sarili mo para mag-increase yan at ma-reach mo yung goal mo. Okay, so simulan natin. Dito, mapansin mo sa ating uh, YouTube. Ito yung channel ko. Then, makita mo ito yung uh, pinakita ko sa inyo kanina. 1,034 public watch hours. So, una, dapat yung malaman na ang YouTube ay uh, monitor nila bawat uh, tao na magtingin ito or uh, meron silang guidelines so napansin mo na tayo ay nag in dito sa ating youtube channel okay so example ang itong gamit mo ay ang gamit ko ay chrome yan okay halimbawa kung tutulong ka sa iyong uh, youtube channel So, most likely, ikaw ang mag-watch para din tutubo ang iyong, iyong uh, watch hours. Pero, hindi yan ikakount ng YouTube. Lalo na, nakalag-in ka sa iyong account. Yan, hindi yan pwede. No. So, kung papansin mo mo, kung halimbawa mag, uh, yan, mag-play ka ng isang music at gusto mong titingin din para Uh, gusto mong mag-increase ang iyong watch hours uh, so you support your own video example ok so babaan mo lang ng quality para hindi masyadong malaki ang makain sa bandwidth ok yan tapos example ilove mo para ulit ulitin lang niya after na ma-end ng song uulitin niya ayan okay so mag play ka pwede mong hiyaan ng music or is silent kung may mga ginagawa ka at may mga iba ka pang pinakinggan so halimbawa nag loop siya at mag play siya ngayon ang tanong kung mga account ba yan sa youtube hindi eh, naka login ka dito ang sagot hindi kaya ang ang dapat gawin para makaw sa YouTube kasi bawal yan hindi yan pwede sa YouTube na nakalagin ka okay so ang gagawin mo pupunta ka sa sainang isang browser download ka ng browser na separate dito sa Google Chrome so type mo lang na limang browser pwede so palagay mo five uh, internet browser safe safe internet browser ah. so may mga list yan ayan 5 best internet browser safe okay or may mga listahan pa dito example ito or pwedeng ito or pwedeng ito 7 secure browsers to protect your privacy so mag download ka na ngayon ng mga browsers na separate sa Google Chrome na yung Google Chrome kung saan ka nakalagin ay hindi ka mag-play doon doon ka lang mag-edit, mag-download pero ito, dito ka mag-play na 
ito halimbawa itong Firefox download ka tapos halimbawa itong Iridium download ka or itong Tor browser or itong uh, yan and Google Chromium browser Brave browser so itong Pale Moon browser itong Microsoft Internet Opera browser Epic Safari browser ayan Waterfox so ito yung mga browser na kung saan pwede mo i-download pagkatapos din ka na mag-play na hindi nakalagin yung YouTube mo halimbawa okay, for example ito si uh, ang browser na ito ay Microsoft Edge browser hindi ako nakalagin yan profile pero nagpi-play ako yan nagpi-play ako tingnan mo yan nagpi-play ako yan yan tatlo ang channel ko kaya tatlo din na tab ang pina-play ko at the same time so habang nagpi-play ka yan kinakaunt pa na yan yung YouTube ang watch hours so tumutulong ka ngayon sa yung channel na mapa-increase yung watch hours mo aside from people na sinisharean mo sa YouTube para mag-watch sila sa yung channel or any people na mag-research doon sa uh, yung public mismo na research na gusto nilang hanapin itong song na ito or gusto nilang makinig ng song or halimbawa isa sa mga channel ko is itong travel and tours okay ito yung isa sa mga channel ko, travel and tour. So, kung halimbawa, gusto nilang tumingi ng view sa Mualbual, Palawan, Underground, Milito. So, may mga glimpse sila at mga presyo kung ano magiging presyo. Ayan. So, ginalook ko lang yan. Ayan. Channel ko din yan. So, pina-increase ko lang. Tinatulong ko. Do kunti pa lang ang ating subscriber. Pero, ano yung tiunting Uh, pa-increase na pa-increase yan kasi nagsimula lang ako uh, noong May oh, noong May so one month ago pa lang ako naging vlogger nakikita ko na ito yung uh, isa sa mga sistema na uh, makatulong at tumutulong ka rin na ma-increase yung uh, watch hours mo at uh, hindi lang yung mga tao or mga friends mo na nag-watch nito kundi yung mismo mga tao na nag-research like itong isa sa channel ko yung how to channel so yung how to channel ko maraming mga channel ito yung channel ko na kung saan ipopost ko itong video ko so mayro merong how to flare how to upgrade zoom yung mga prepaid mobile data promo yan ito, ito yung how to start travel agency yan how to increase more subscribers how to install so sa lahat ng mga how to dyan nilalagay ko so yun yung uh, isa sa mga makita mo na hindi lang ang public nag-watch kundi ikaw din tumutulong para ma-reach mo yung goal mo kasi yun, lang, yun naman ang ating goal na ma-reach yung 4,000 so yun balik tayo dito ay eh, yun yun ang aking uh, isa sa mga advice para so ito makita mo merong Yandex itong browser tapos merong uh, Iridium ito yung Iridium ayan tapos uh, make sure na uh, minsan kasi yung browser ay minsan nagpapa-refresh so i-double check mo na titingnan mo ngayon kung nag-play pa ba So, dito, hindi ako nag-login sa YouTube or anything. So, ginawa ko lang itong uh, place kung saan ako mag-watch para tutulong doon sa pag-increase sa ating uh, YouTube channel. Yan. So, i-refresh mo lang. Double-check mo para i-check mo ngayon kung uh, nag-play ba ba. Okay. Okay, may apalikan ko yan so ito yon dalawang uh, browser ang ginamit ko 
Yan. Hello, browser. So, kung dagdagan mo yan, para sabay-sabay sila, itong Yandex, Redium, Microsoft, saka Brave at Firefox. So, dito ako nag-login sa Google Chrome. So, dito naman, sa Yandex ito, Yandex browser. Okay. So, titignan natin. Okay. Tanggalin ko lang muna itong uh, Google Chrome para hindi malaki ang kakainin ng bandwidth. Okay. Okay. So, refresh. Ito. Yan. Tatlo pa rin yung aking channel. Nasabay ko siya na pinag-play at hindi din ako nag-login dito yan, hindi din ako nag-login okay so ito yung isa sa mga channel ko how to start a travel agency yan, medyo mahina ang internet hintay na lang natin okay So, in-open ko yan. Hintay natin. Ito naman. I-open natin yung Brave Browser. Ayan. Brave Browser. So, yun. Apat lang na-open natin. So, the more... Uh, yan, yan. Yung naka... Maka-ready na siya. Kasi, piniplay ko everyday. Kaya... Pag-open ko, naka-ready na siya. Yung tatlong channel na i-open ko. Hindi ka pa rin mag-login either sa Facebook, sa YouTube. So, yan lang ay dinownload mo para mag-watch ka lang doon. At uh, para tutulong sa pag-reach uh, doon sa 4,000 watch hours mo. At uh, hindi lang sa mga friends mo or even sa public mismo na nag-research uh, para titingin doon at matulungan din sila yun sa mga video na tina-upload uh, mo kundi ikaw mismo isa sa mga nag-support sa video mo <clears throat> okay so ang goal natin na pag ma-okay na ang monetization continuous pa rin na mag-upload ka ng video para maraming matulungan doon so video ng mga informative at video ng mga prop uh, things na pwedeng makatulong ang goal natin na makatulong sa public na sa ating mga video na ating pinupost. Hindi lang na mga walang kabuluhan. Kundi, pinupost natin. Hindi lang na tayo ay ang goal natin na makakikita din out sa mga AdSense or sa YouTube monetization. Kundi, yung mga channel na binubuo natin ay makatulong sa publiko lalo na sa mga kailangan nila na information. So, yun yung goal natin. Hindi lang na dahil kikita tayo, kundi <clears throat> ang publiko ay maka, magkakuha din sila ng lesson sa mga bagay na sinishare mo dito sa uh, channel na binuo mo. Okay. So, yun po. Yan. Dapat ilo po quality mo habang nag-play ka. Okay, just make sure na nakalook para hindi ka na uh, magpaulit-ulit bawat end ng video. Okay, mulang right click mo. Yan, double check kung nakaplay na siya. So, maya balikan ko yan. May na lang yung internet. Okay, so yun po. At uh, sana nakatulong dito sa yung video na ito nakatulong konti sa mga nagpaplano na mag-increase yung kanilang uh, watch hours. So, personal experience ko lang yan. At uh, ngayon ay ongoing pa ako. At minimonitor ko every day or every other day yung uh, increase ng watch hours. At sa next video natin, ituturo natin kung paano naman may increase yung ating subscriber. At ma-reach natin yung 1,000. Okay, so thank you and see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.
Thank you.